Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, um, this is going to be a rather casual video, but I just want to share with you my website before uh, it launches. It's going to launch in another few more, I think, minutes. Okay, so before it launches, I thought I would just share with you this video and give you my thought process for the old website. And uh, then when the new website comes, you can compare and contrast whether it has improved or not. And um, just so that you know, before I even share the uh, new website, okay, uh, new website will come later. Uh, this is behind the scenes. Um, I had asked this company uh, where I know the owner to make sure that um, this is going to be his project. I didn't want to interfere in his work because every time I made a website, I give my input based on what I saw online. Okay, I would tell them I want this from this website, this from this website, this from that website. So I never actually had a kind of a team or I never had external points of view. So this time what I decided is, you know, I always believe you should give a professional the total freedom to give you a concept. And given the fact that the guy who is handling my website is an uh, ex-Google employee. He worked for Google. Uh, now he's, he's an Indian. He's based in India. So he worked for Google. He was in Europe with Google. So uh, And he also has a team that specializes in, um, you know, the science of branding in terms of colors, presentations, logos. So I thought, okay, fine. Why not? I trust him and give the project to him. And he was surprised because normally I like to be in control. So I told him, you will take charge of this entire project. Um, if you need any bit of input, what has to change or what has to be done, fine. You can get the few bits. But everything else from the color, the logo, the placement, everything else is going to be your baby. Okay. So he was very surprised. And I told him that uh, I give you the flexibility to take as long as you want. And that in turn, actually, I never expected it to go so long. I thought it would take four weeks. It has actually taken around six months. So that surprised me. And here's a funny bit. <clears throat> the changes, I'll not give you, I'll not spoil the surprise because I want you to see the website. The changes are not going to be very drastic. Like, for example, if I tell you, um, change the logo. Okay, for example, no, change the font, change the font from Times New Roman to, let's say, Varnana. It's just a click of a button. Okay, you just have to go Word or anything, just click or Google Docs. So just imagine that something as small as changing the font, something as small as even changing the color, just the color, a small placement, all this took six months. It was... It seriously shocked me to know what we tend to take for granted. And I have to blame myself because generally I complain, bitch and moan that people do not know how much of work goes into what I do. When I gave this guy the total freedom, yes, he does have other projects. It's not that he was only looking at my project and nothing else. He has a pipeline of projects globally from around the world. So they do in terms of rotation, step by step, you know, they have a systematic way of doing things. Uh, it was seriously unbelievable and uh, I have seen the new website. I'm very happy with it. Very happy. I couldn't have asked for anything better. So anyway, um, this is the backstory. Um, so before the new website gets launched, I'm just going to share with you the old website and the thought process that went into it. Okay. So when I click, I click on Google Chrome, I just type Loy Macedo. 
as you can see here is what Loy Mercedo comes and this is how it looks like okay all right so you know I the logic about putting my face was this is the thing one thing that stands out so I always put my face right in the first people are like hey, what is this you know so obviously and uh, the reason for half the face <laughs> Um, was um, actually it started off just I don't know I just posed and put half the face and um, next thing I know people started telling me that this is the Illuminati or this is satanic then some Muslim guys started to say that yeah this is satanic this is the sign of the Illuminati so I was like oh that's cool man so I was like okay fine I'll, I'll have half the face so Illuminati whatever whatever floats your boat and uh, the, here's the funny thing if you actually look at uh, yeah if you look like this you can see this this is the eye I think is the eye of Horus so I made it in such a way it's symmetrical you can see the eyes and the mouth right okay so yeah um, so the first bit is my face obviously that is the one big thing that stands out very plain I decided white background because the background always has to be white okay and then I just thought it would uh, really be nice to have instead of you know trying to be formal just what the fuck do you want man <laughs> and I used uh, this font I don't know it's chalk duster or something I just used it here and then generally the main thing was people generally would have questions to ask me if you see questions here or book now uh, normally it was questions so people would click here and this kind of reverses the image so people type out their question hey whatever whatever they type the question and um, you know put the details and submit uh, well the button you can see is orange the theme was white and orange uh, i i'll give credit where credit is due it is from neilpatel.com he's an internet marketer i found his combination of orange and white was pretty good but his is far more superior because he is 24 7 into internet marketing i just wanted to create the website and get it over with and then obviously if you click book now you click here and this goes into the, it was a different page here i i kind of like these thin fonts okay it was a different page uh, rates here but then people used to say oh if i want only an email how much if i want only just to chat with you i don't want to talk to you on video and then okay obviously video became more popular and then people also says you know i have uh, a do you have a customized gig or i have something in mind so i just made it this way for now uh, rough how can i help you i don't know why is it twice i guess because of the changes i'm making this was not there before it was just up this whole thing was up and uh, the color okay i'll take the blame for it the color doesn't look very nice but i decided it's easy to read that is why I had different different colors others you know it's kind of confusing and then obviously when you move your mouse here you get all these different um, you know things that they ask okay so these were my rates and then uh, when you go back so when you scroll from up to down okay this is the home page you go down and here is the latest blog post okay the latest blog post uh, I thought you know just give them from white give them a black background where the thumbnails would jump out and uh, these are the articles very colorful I must say and uh, uh, these are the blog posts so if you go into any of the blog posts you click here it gives you the article okay it gives you the article you can scroll down and here at the side was another idea if you had any questions or you wanted to book okay so this is how it went and when you go down it gives you a recommendation of another related article so if you click here then it goes to another article okay and um, this book uh, by the way this book was really nice I really liked it he sent it to me uh, complimentary and uh, I reviewed it I I never thought I would like the book uh, surprisingly I like the book a lot it's a long lengthy book review I used to write a lot of blogs those days and then if you go right at the end you get uh, the different social media links and then you get other related articles just like this so this is what it was and so um, if you go back to the home page okay then you can go back to the home page so I try to keep it slightly minimalistic if you can say not actually very minimalistic but try to keep it clean and now when I look at it I can see so many flaws 
you know, when you create something new, you fall in love with your creation and you can't see any mistakes. But then over the years, when you change, you're like, oh man, what was I thinking? Like, um, and that is what I tell people when I, when I'm into the coaching process or rebranding process, I tell them the rebranding process is never going to end. Uh, improvement is never going to end. Just execute right now. Don't aim for perfection. Okay. So the first one was the homepage. Then you go to the blog post. Then below this one was more like, uh, people who recommended me and these as in that time, you're talking of nearly 15 years, 15 years ago or 20 years. These were some of the top names, um, global motivational speaker, Albert Mensa, Brian Parsley. He is a uh, paid international trainer, Dr. Chang. He is, uh, the PhD for, I think, uh, that time he was working for LG. If I'm not mistaken, he was a director of training and, uh, he took the risk of taking me to train people. And even though he knew that I didn't have any corporate, uh, you know, credentials, any, uh, you know, Ivy League uh, certification or education, he still gave me a chance and he was very happy. Well, at least that's what I uh, hope to uh, achieve. Then uh, Dave Ross, this guy is a champion speaker whom I looked up to those days. And I never thought in my wildest dreams that one day he would follow me on social media and then we became, we are still now in touch. Then my mentor, Mohammed Murad, he's here. Christine Combs, she's a PhD in English. She has written many books. I personally met her, known her in Toastmasters. Mazar Farooqi, who is an international uh, award journalist based in UAE. I speak about him in some of the videos. Then we have Debbie or Deborah. She is one of the top makeup artists for famous brands. And Christian Farioli. Okay, this guy was... Uh, it still is a digital marketer, very nice guy. So yeah, these people recommendations, if anyone wanted to see, I don't know how many people even read it. And finally, this I added down here. This is uh, just like a business card. So if anyone wanted to see right at the end, I just put it now when I look at it, it doesn't look so nice, but anyway, I just put it. So this is when you go from top to the bottom, up to down homepage, then blog post recommendations and that slight business card. But if you go at the tabs, which are up blogs, you get all the different categories, job vacancies, career tips, job interviews, resume tips before I to have all of these, but then I slowly migrated into just consulting because what I realized is many people actually uh, two or three clients whom I coached, they ended up copying not only the strategy that I had, they started copying my articles. And then when I spoke to uh, my, uh, this guy who takes care of my website and Google, he just said uh, that is a reality you can't avoid. People copy other people's articles, modify it. And now given with the AI, it is like a ruckus. So these are the blogs. You can check the articles. They are still there. Movie reviews. Let me just go and see. Movie reviews. Okay, just movie reviews. Those days I used to put a couple of them, I guess. And then uh, book reviews is much more. I've read uh, quite a number of them and I had many, many, many book reviews. I don't know why few show here. Okay. Anyway, so these are blogs. Then if you go to services, services is, uh, this has been there for years and years. People asking for email solution, one-to-one -one chatting, then audio video call. And um, see my rates, this is before, so I need to upgrade. <laughs> Then we have the personal branding packages from $10,000, $25,000, $100,000. And before I used to put a lot of details into this, but then what I realized is people use those details and you get students and trolls. And, hey, why, they, why do you want this? Why do you want that? So I just tell people, just get in touch with me and uh, I evaluate their profile and give them. So the first three are email solutions, chatting, uh, audio video call, that is coaching. Uh, no, that is uh, consulting, consulting. And this one is more of the personal branding packages. Let's see what happens when you click book now. Book now, you go to, before there was PayPal. Now PayPal has stopped in uh, Thailand. So if you click here, you get buy now. N normally people don't use this very much. They contact me directly. So when you go buy now, it goes to, okay. It's been added to your cart, direct bank transfer. So before there was PayPal. So if you clicked here, you'd go directly to PayPal and place the order. Okay. 
So this is service, okay, services, then about. About was just about me. I thought I'd just put something very simple, um, just so people can read it. And um, um, mostly when people used to ask who is loymesido.com, there's another website, which is who is loymesido.com. That one, if you go, it has everything about me in terms of, ooh, why is this? Back to safety. Mm. I guess because they're making the changes back to safety. Okay. So that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'll let that be in the video. Who is Loy Macedo? I guess because he's making the changes, uh, turn on security protection. Hackers are trying to say, why the hell does this come? Not secure. I need to speak to that guy. Okay, I'll contact him later. Good. So you can check whoisloymesido.com and don't worry, I'm not taking your details. This is the problem, you know, when you have two or three websites all uh, intertwined and there's one more that is thinkpersonalbranding.com. This is the third website. So these three are all linked together. This one I just created, just a rates, same about me, more or less the same thing. This one looks a little more nice. How can I help you? And uh, these are the service rates. What other services I provide? This one looks much better, yeah. yeah. Then recommendations, more or less the same, and then contact me. So this was a very simple website, you know. And it was a theme that I took, and I just modified the theme. So if you can actually see, this looks much more better, much more polished. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. My, my main website looks bad. Mm. Anyway. This was done very well. Uh, but who is loymesido.com? I'm surprised that this. Oh, what the hell? It shows now. This is crazy. Okay. You just saw, no? Uh, when I clicked who is loymesido.com, it came as a. Uh, uh, wait, one minute. What is going on? Who is loymesido.com? When I click here, who is loymesido? This gives an error. Okay, this gives privacy error. But this one doesn't give any privacy here. What the hell is going on, man? Strange. Oh, it's a mystery. Anyway, so this is whoisloymesido.com. And I had made this more like kind of a visual treat where photographs would be put. And mind you, this is more than, I think, six years, seven years old. So who is Loy Mesido? Welcome to my world. And you can see the logo, no? This logo looks really cool. Can I? Yeah, you can see this. This logo looks really nice. It was designed by somebody. I can't get who. Can't remember. I think a female. Okay. So then this is my YouTube channel. I put the top three videos. And uh, yeah, I put the top three videos of mine. Um, this is me featured on Coca-Cola. This is me on TED Talks. And this is Resonate, one company where my friend Joe Alexander, he made. You can check these three. Huh? Uh, this is that viral ad that went up to I think, I don't know, man, 750 million views globally. I don't know. Crazy. Uh, I saved that video. So this was me speaking at TED Talks. And this is just a creative uh, video that the guy made where he removed my tattoos. Here you go into my track record. This is just fun fact. This is just like funny stuff. Uh, I didn't take it seriously. How many times I use the F word? How many times I spend on creativity and that time this numbers used to move. I don't know. The numbers stopped moving now. Okay. So anyway, then my life, monthly income and th this is all uh, uh, me fooling around. Okay. Nothing serious. And you can't click anything. You can just see how much money did I earn <laughs> in my life? How many books I read? Then my recommendations. And if you click here, recommendations, you get the same. Okay. Uh, Move this. So you get the people who recommended me. Okay. And then if you go back, then this is my blog and my services. What do you get here? Click here. My blog. My blog is what? Oh, okay. My website. My services is Think Personal Branding. Yeah. I think Think Personal Branding. Yeah. It's here. And then, uh, yeah, to contact me. My image looks shrink, shrunk here. Looks like. Okay. So yeah, this was my website and uh, here all the sum total of all the webs, uh, you know, web pages are there. You can click whatever you want. 
yeah, this is who is Loy Macedo. Okay. So this is what was. I need to check this. This connection is not private. I'll sort it out later. Okay. So now coming about me, this was the page. And finally, when you come to contact, contact is, yeah, social media links. You can click here. Let's see, Twitter. We go Twitter, it goes to, okay, Loy Macedo. Yeah, still working. Good to know. Hmm. Skype. I don't know what the hell. If anyone want to talk to me on Skype, I don't want to click here. Okay, this is WhatsApp. Okay, and Instagram and all that. So anyway, this was my website, was. And um, now what is going to happen is you're going to see it change completely from what it is. It's going to be more clean, more um, properly presented. Uh, and I've seen the new website. It looks really nice. So anyway, this was an old website. I just thought I'd share it with you so that. And also, one of the main reasons why I made this video is, you know, whenever you create a website, I've created like so many over the years. Uh, over the, from the age of, I don't know, 30? 30 or before that. I did not keep track record. I did not keep the videos. I did not keep the screenshot. So uh, luckily, some photographs are there on my Facebook. Uh, so I have them saved. Uh, just a photograph. I wish I had made the video so you could see the transition. So anyway, this is what it is. Wanted to keep this as a memory and I'm sharing this with you. Let me know your thoughts. Good, bad, ugly. What do you think? And yeah, if any one of you IT guys know, why is it when I type who is loymesero.com, this one shows an error. Okay, this one shows an error. This is really strange. But if I put who is loymesero.com, I don't know why. See, this one is perfect. I don't know, is it the address? I'll figure it out. Anyway, strange. All right. Anyway, uh, love to hear your thoughts and comments. Feel free. This is me signing off. You guys take care.